Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Chemical equations are balanced based on law of conservation of mass. Actually, chemical equation represents a chemical reaction. First, let us see what law of conservation of mass states that. It states that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed. It means number of atoms of each element remains same before and after a chemical reaction. Let us take one beautiful example. Here, in this picture, you can see some pebbles. This, when they mix together, you can see there is a product. Just to imagine these pebbles or atoms, arrangement of these pebbles results in one product. But if you see this, picture you can see number of one pebble is less that means this is unbalanced one so to make it into balance this pebbles you should add this is what we do it for balancing any chemical equation let us take one beautiful equation and try to solve it BaCl2 plus H2SO4 gives BaSO4 barium sulfate plus HCl. First, before balancing the equation, let us clear that the doubts about the numbers written below atom of elements. You can see in the picture in the equation Cl down to for hydrogen also to then O4, O4 again here. What actually it states that? They are called subscripts. Subscripts is the number written below an element. It tells that number of atoms of an element. For example, in the chlorine, if you see two down, that means there are two chlorine atoms are there in the equations. Then coefficients is the number written to the left side of chemical formula. For example, if you see that barium chloride, here in the front there is no number it means one one molecule of barium chloride is there now for balancing the equation now let us draw reactants and products the chemical equation left hand side is the reactant side and the right hand side is the product side now let us write one by one the atom of elements Barium, the number of element in this equation is 1 for chlorine 2, for hydrogen 2 and for sulfur 1 for oxygen 2. The same order, let us write it in the product side also. So, after writing, now you go to write that difference. The difference between the left hand side atoms and the right hand side atoms. That means for barium, Reactant side 1 and the product side 1. So 1 minus 1, it gives 0. The same way we are going to write the difference of atoms of all the elements. Now if you see here, except chlorine and hydrogen, for remaining all the atoms it is 0. That means they all are balanced. So to make chlorine and hydrogen balance, now let us take chlorine first to multiply with 2. So this makes that chlorine so, this 2 we are going to add in the product side. So, product side you can see HCl. So, here we are going to put that HCl. By doing so, the number of hydrogen also changed. That is why now we cut that 1 for hydrogen and we will write 2. Now, find the difference between chlorine and hydrogen. See here for chlorine, for reactant side it is 2 and the product side also 2. So now it becomes 0. Same like that for hydrogen also it becomes 0. So now it is balanced. So let us say that correct balanced equation. Now let us solve that reaction which would represent a correct balanced equation for the given skeletal equation. H2 plus Cl2 gives HCl. So first let us see reactants and products then after that we will write that number of atoms of elements and for the products also let us write then you can see difference 
so difference if you say for hydrogen to minus 1 1 then chlorine also 1 so to make it 2 let us multiply with 2 so this will give make that hydrogen 2 so this 2 here we are going to put in the front of HCl so by that way for chlorine also becomes 2 so you can see now it becomes 0 and this one also becomes 0. So, which one is the correct answer then? So, you can see this is the correct answer. Thanks for watching this video.